guys, Michelle here and welcome to part two of the get ready for me for spring, spring tutorial look. Um, if you've already watched my makeup look, if not, I will put a link down below of how you can watch how to do this and get this look. It was so easy, all drugstore products. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I straighten my hair. Now my hair is relatively like straight naturally. Um, but it does have like these kinks in it that it gets and I have very thick, long, obviously long hair. It goes a lot of hair. <laughs> so it usually takes forever for me to style it, whether it's curling it or straightening it. So my normal um, go-to hairstyle is to like braid it at night when it's damp and then like sleep on it and kind of get a waves. But when I do want to have like a really nice style done and I, I, you know, curling it can kind of get boring and all that stuff. I go to a hair straightener. Now, the normal straightener that I've been using is the Remington T Studio uh, collection, but this is like, and you can see it there. It looks nice. You know, it's slim. Um, it looks kind of like a dupe for the chi. I've never used a chi, so I'm not really sure how this would be comparable. Um, but it's kind of pooped out on me. Uh, I've had it since. I got it the month after Anthony was born. So this is almost five years old. Oof. So it's about time that it kind of pooped out on me. So when I was contacted by HSI professionals to review one of their hair straightening products, I was ecstatic. And they sent me this. It comes in like this really cute silky sleeve. And it has a really sleek design to it. This is actually the bottom and that's the light indicator, which is kind of weird that the light indicator of when it's heated up is on the bottom. But I mean, you just kind of, you have it usually on your its side anyway. Um, but the plates are really nice, super shiny. They have the curved, um, is it called beveled? I'm not sure if that's the right word. But so you can actually use this to curl your hair. I haven't, I've tried it with my other curler but I haven't tried it with this one to try and curl my hair because it's so long and so thick I'm not sure if it'll actually do it maybe when I get a haircut it could um, be a little bit better but I really like the design of this oh, I have it upside down um, it's really like a matte finish and it's got this design here actually helps keep it in your hand so it's not moving around on you and I really like that too it goes up to 410 degrees I don't know if I can get you guys in there to see. There's an on off switch and then the degree so you can choose how hot or um, how cool your hair can take it. It has a really long cord, swivel end. I am in love. Let me go ahead and turn this on and get that heated up while um, we get started. I also have, here, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna pan you down. I set up down here, I have my hot iron holster here where I can put my um, straightening iron down here while it's heating up or while I'm doing my hair, I could set it here. So I'm going to put that in there. I have some clips to clip up my hair. I already sprayed this in my hair. It is the got to be one or 425 heat protecting. Got some hair brushes, my roller brush, and I'm all ready to get started. So let's go ahead and um, section off our hair to get ready. This is how I do it and how it works with my hair. Again, I am not a cosmetologist or a hair specialist guru or whatever. I don't claim to be anything fancy, I promise you. This is just how a normal gal like me does it. So this is what my hair looks like. I haven't done anything to it. So this could be my before shot. Um, let's do that. I see if this is ready. All right, the light is on. I like to use a round brush because it helps give the bottoms like a little more of a structured um, look to them like a nice softer look because I want my hair to be straight but I'm not really going for the hippie pin straight look today I want to go for a softer look 
for spring. And I'm just going over the sections. I like to get warmed up like how I just did it, but this is how I would normally go across. And look at how straight and silky this is. Let's go here. Go nice and slow. And that's it. One or two passes and I'm ready to move forward. And like I said, my hair is so thick. I'm Spanish and Irish and I definitely got my dad's Spanish hair. They're from Spain. My grandpa grew up and lived in La Coruña. That's up in the northern area by the ocean. I believe he used to talk about like the mountains there and stuff. And the discotecas, oh my gosh, my grandpa would be out clubbing and I'm like a little old lady here. There we go. Let's go ahead and take down, let's take down this section because it's driving me crazy. You keep seeing it fall out and this little buddy just wants to get straightened. second pass. I probably didn't even need to do the second pass. I think it's just more of a habit for me. And I don't even have this on the highest setting. No, I have it kind of like in the middle. So if I had it even hotter, yeah. But I know myself and I know that I do a second pass because of just habit. And I kind of try to do that with the, can you see what I'm doing here? Where I'm just kind of holding it at like a little bit of an angle when I pull it down and that's gonna give it a little more volume rather than again being like slick straight down look at I can run my fingers through my hair and it's so soft I love this stuff and we haven't even gotten to put in the argan oil they sent like a little sample it comes with the hair straightener um, to do I didn't pull down the section <laughs> That would be helpful. This video is going to be like 20 minutes long. Sorry if you hear the air conditioner kick on in just a second. I can hear it happening. music up in here why can't Sophie go put music on just put my thing down I love this hot iron holster I know it's such a goofy thing and you know I don't know I think it's pretty cool I'm gonna try and lean back so you can see what I'm doing And on the inner corners here where my layers are, I'm just going to take it and kind of focus this going sideways and turning the iron like that. Can you see the difference between how like sleek this side looks and then how still like fluffy this side looks? Um, I'm gonna just brush it, oh my gosh, it's so soft, guys. Like it doesn't feel fried or anything. Like I am, and it's shiny. I love this spot, this arm. Okay. I think we're all done here. I didn't even part my hair even. Oh well. Let's go ahead and fluff up and fluff our hair. I like to do this just so it's not so, I don't know. Hi Sophie. Are you fluffing your hair? Fluff your hair. Of course I'm gonna brush over the outer area. 
Not just a team. All the crazies on the outside there. My hair is all straight and pretty. I'm going to go ahead and put in the argan oil leave-in hair treatment that they sent. Um, this is very similar in consistency to my favorite Nexus argan oil. And looks like that. A little bit runny. So. Do you like my hair, Sophia? Yeah. Alright, let's work this into our fingers. Work it into your fingers. And then we're going to just put it on the edges and edges, the ends of the hair. And this is going to put some nourishment back in it, give it a little more shine. Watch out because that's hot inside there, okay? Okay, so this is what the final look looks like. I just put the oil through my hair and it's super soft. It does a wonderful job straightening my hair and also leaving it still feeling healthy. I love the fact that fact like it's amazing I highly recommend this you check it out it's the HSI professional straightening iron and so pretty I can't stop touching my hair it's amazing I'm in love 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 so let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe like this video check me out on Facebook Twitter Instagram all those amazing places I hope to see you guys next time bye